Hello again, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. This video request comes to us from Germany, and what we will be demonstrating is how you can create additional IP addresses on an interface using your Sophos SG Firewall. Where this is useful is if you have an IP block with more than one public IP address and you need to build a NAT policy using an IP address other than the IP terminating on your WAN interface. So to get started here, we'll go ahead and jump into the web admin of our Sophos SG Firewall. First things first here, we'll go ahead and check out our interfaces. We'll come over here to interfaces and routing and interfaces. And here in our interface, we can see we have Comcast for our WAN gateway. 96.64.128.44, WAC 28. And what we've done is created a NAT policy for a remote desktop connection. And we can see that here under our network protection and NAT. And we'll jump over here to our NAT policies. And so I've got a NAT policy here already built for a remote desktop connection using an IP address other than the one that's terminating on our actual WAN interface here. So what I've got here is a continuous ping running to the IP address that we're wanting to utilize for our remote desktop connection and we can see that that request right now is timing out. I'll go ahead and pull up our RDP connection and we'll attempt a connection here. Okay, and we can see that our remote desktop connection cannot connect to our remote computer. So what we need to do here is create an additional address on our WAN interface. We're going to do that here under Interfaces and Routing, Interfaces, and selecting the Additional Address tab. Here we can create our new additional addresses. Go ahead and select the New Additional Address button. We can just go ahead and give this a name. I'm going to go ahead and just put in our IP address. Select our interface that the address belongs to followed by our net mask, and we'll go ahead and save. So before we kick this on, I'm going to go ahead and pull back up the ping test. We can see our request here is still timing out. Go ahead and kick this guy on, and now we're starting to get responses. So if we go ahead and pull back up our remote desktop connection and attempt our connection again, we can see that the connection has been established and we are being prompted to enter in the credentials. So all is well, our NAT policy is now working. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to us. Come check us out at firewalls.com. And if you have any future video requests, we want to hear from you. And we appreciate you guys watching. Get secure. Stay secure.